Falling in love is like owning a dog. First of all, it's a big responsibility. So think long and hard before deciding on love. On the other hand, love gives you a sense of security when you're walking down the street late at night and you have a leash on love. No one is going to miss with you because crooks and muggers think love is unpredictable. Who knows what love could do in its own defense? On cold winter nights, love is warm. It lies between you and lives and breathes and makes funny noises. Love wakes you up all hours of the night with its needs. It needs to be fed so it will grow and stay healthy. Love doesn't like being left alone for long. But come home and love is always happy to see you. It may break a few things accidentally in its passion for life. But you can never be mad at love for long. Is love good all the time? No, no. Love can be bad. Bad love. Bad. Very bad love. Love makes misses. Love leaves you surprises here and there. Love needs lots of cleaning up after. Sometimes you just want to get love fixed. Sometimes you want to roll up a piece of newspaper and swat love on the nose. Not so much to cause pain, just to let love know, don't you ever do that again. Sometimes love just wants to go for a nice long walk because love loves exercise. It runs you around the block and leaves you panting. It pulls you in several different directions at once or winds around and around until you're all wound up and can't move. But love makes you meet people wherever you go. People who have nothing in common but love stop and talk to each other on the street. Throw things away and love will bring them back again and again and again. But most of all, love needs love, lots of it. And in return, love loves you and never stops. Isaac, take you Lauren to be my wife, to have and to hold from the city forth, for better or worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do us part. I, Lauren, take you Zach to be my husband, to have to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, or for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do us part. So, without further ado, by the power vested in me by the state of New Hampshire and the state of Vermont, I will now pronounce you husband and wife. Zach, may you now kiss the bride. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am so happy that the two of you have found one another. You see, everyone, Lauren and Zach share that once in a lifetime kind of love. It is the love that you see in the movies. And today we celebrate your beautiful love story and the road that lies ahead of you. She is probably the nicest girl that Zach will ever meet. But she really, she really does love him. I can tell. I have always been protective of Lauren from the day that she was born. It was my role as her older sister I was the only one allowed to mess with her. And if someone else did, it wasn't good news. I will admit that I was slightly suspicious of Zach, especially when I heard that their first date was at a shooting range. A few months later, she would bring him home to Vermont to meet our family. And when he didn't run for his life after meeting all of us, I knew that he must really love her. Good evening, everyone. For those of you who don't know me or can't tell by my face, I'm Zach's younger brother, John. I was always confident this day would come for him as he's really just a taller, marginally less attractive version of myself. Uh, growing up, Zach and I were always close, finding commonality in everything from sports in our backyard, video games, and of course, indentured servitude to our father on just an unreal amount of projects. As for Zach's character, I can honestly say I have no jokes, quips, or puns. From my experience in this world, I've gathered that the greatest compliment you can pay someone is 
said Bill Nitt, they've never let you down, and I proudly pay that compliment to Zach, to the point where he seems almost completely unable to do so. He's always been there for me whenever I needed anything, and with that in mind, I can say with complete confidence that you're in the best of hands, Lauren. He's an exemplary older brother, and I can't even imagine how great of a husband he is. From the way he looks at her, to the way that he is always trying to make sure that she is okay, there is no mistaking his love for Lauren. great to have all girls. It's been a challenge. It really has been a challenge. But we love them all to death, and it's hard to let the last one go. It's sad. But good luck to both of you. I am so happy to be here today to witness the beginning. I want you both to remember today. Remember the promises that you made and the vows that you guys have exchanged. The light that you have found in each other will see you through any tough times ahead. Now join me in raising a glass. I should have brought one if I planned it all. <laughs> Please join me in raising a glass to our newlyweds. May you find happiness wherever you search for it.